Hey, it's Paul with RackOutfitters.com, here to cover the method of attachment of the iCamper series of rooftop tents to truck racks which have thicker bars than traditionally found on most roof rack systems. Let's go over some of the aspects of how to mount this, these tents to these rack systems. For starters, the new iCamper tents include the new 2.0 mounting hardware. This mounting hardware has a limited depth between the threaded bolt and the underside of the track. So when your bars are thicker than that area, it'll be necessary to revert back to the 1.0 original mounting hardware that allows for standard uh, carriage bolts to be used instead of this unique method of attachment. That's an excellent attachment when it's uh, possible to use, but if it's not, this is gonna be uh, required. So what we've had to do in this case is not only revert back to the 1.0 mounting hardware, but also the bolts that are included um, are also too short uh, to accommodate the thickness of these truck racks. The truck racks we're referring to are the Yakima Overhaul HD, the Yakima Outpost, the Bedrock HD. These HD bars are thicker and require a longer two and a half inch length bolt. Now, the bolts that come with the iCamper 1.0 hardware are metric, and metric bolts aren't always commonly available in the US. So if that's your case, you'll have to not only replace the bolt with a, a longer bolt, but you also have to replace the nut too with a standard, otherwise known as SAE bolt in 5 16 by two inch in length, and also the nut. So let's go ahead and do this. Another important point when when, whenever you're using stainless steel fasteners like this is to apply an anti-seize grease. So in this case, this happens to be made by Park Tool. We'd recommend this because it's available in smaller quantities in this uh, dispenser tube here. Most other applications are more industrial and come in big tubs. So you can find this at bike shops and um, at other outlets. So. By applying that, that's gonna prevent these nuts from galling, which can happen if you use standard grease. So galling is a phenomenon that occurs um, by the metals essentially welding themselves together on the, th on the threads. So very important step to take. Sometimes if you, uh, if you do go without this, you may find that it works on seven of the eight bolts, but then on the last bolt, it completely galls and and doesn't move. So that's very important that you apply that on all the bolts. Okay, so let's go on over to, here we have the iCamper Mini, and we're gonna lower the iCamper Mini onto the, this is the Yakima Outpost that we previously installed in the vehicle with the HD load bars. So we're gonna go ahead and run this hardware into the track. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the end cap in place. Okay, and now we're using, this is something I can do all by myself without any assistance. We're using the MyLifter to lower this tent. We're also a dealer for MyLifter, so if you have a garage situation that enables the use of a MyLifter, we highly recommend it as an as a easy way to lower and raise your tent for quick and easy installations. Okay, so next, we're gonna take the underbar plate and attach that. Try to avoid uh, getting any of that anti-seize onto your fingers or onto any other areas. It uh, can be a little difficult to remove, although it, it'll come off with some isopuric alcohol, no problem. Okay, so now we have it started. This length is ideal. You'll find once it's tight, it'll It'll have just a, a small amount of two or three threads exposed, which is exactly what you want. And, but you don't want any extra. Extra threading is unnecessary and would just make it more likely to scrape yourself on it as you're, if you're getting in and out of the tent, uh, the truck bed, I should say. So we'll go back and get it, get this tent perfectly aligned 
on these crossbars. But for here, I just want to go ahead and tighten this one up to demonstrate how tight. So the method of tightness right now, we're, we're getting snug. You want to make sure it's even on, on both. You have the equal amount of threading coming through on both. And then you want to see a slight bend in this underbar plate. And what you're trying to do, you do have multiple holes where the bolts can come through. You want those holes to be as close as possible to the length, uh, to the width of the bar. And so we're just about there. Also, if you have a speed style ratchet, that's highly recommended because uh, it'll certainly make the job of tightening and loosening all eight bolts much more convenient. Okay, so that's what you're after right there. You've got the, that should actually, I, can, I couldn't see from here, but you'd actually even the spacing out as well. Here it's a lot more spacing than here. It should be evened over. But for the sake of this video to give a basic demonstration, that's, that's what uh, you want to see is a slight bend. And those are all the key steps in sizing up the hardware to work on your chuck rack load bar for the Yakima HD load bar. Okay, so be sure to subscribe to the Rack Outfitters YouTube channel for other videos on iCamper products. I'm Paul with rackoutfitters.com and thanks for watching.